Welcome to Electron Online and here's something that many of us, especially our grandparents, probably know that we can preserve food by adding a lot of sugar to it. The question is, why does that work? They know it works, they may not necessarily know why it works and it all has to do with osmosis. Let's find out. Let's say we want to build, produce some preserves. Preserves usually is fruit and lots of sugar mixed in with it and we can put it on the shelf unrefrigerated for weeks, for months and it doesn't go bad. The question is, why is that? Well, let's say that a bacteria tries to invade the preserve and tries to mess it all up. Go in there, produce, reproduce, and, and totally wipe out your ability to eat the preserves, but it won't happen. The reason is such that when a bacteria tries to invade, tries to make a home out of a sugary solution like that, remember, liquid plus sugar forms a very highly concentrated solution, a solution that has a lot of solute dissolved in it. The bacteria has an encapsulation made out of a semi-permeable membrane. Inside that semi-permeable membrane, the bacteria has also a solution, because that's how bacteria can live. That solution, however, is not nearly as concentrated. It's much more of a diluted solution. And because of osmosis and a semi-permeable membrane, what's going to happen? Well, a lot of the the, the solvent inside the bacteria, which is core water, will begin to migrate into the liquid. So virtually pure water will come across that membrane, much less will go into the bacteria. And what's going to happen to the bacteria? It's simply going to lose its water and it's just going to shrivel up and die. And so bacteria has no chance in a sugary solution or in a preserve or anything like that that has a high concentration of sugar. Now, of course, that also works with salts. Again, when you add a lot of salt to a, uh, to a product, like for example, in the old days, they used to salt a lot of the meats, put a lot of salt on them, because what does the salt do? The salt produces, it mixes with, of course, solvent, with water. It produces a very high concentration solution. And then any bacteria that comes near it because of the semi-permeable membrane, again, water will seep out of the bacteria into the, into the, um, the, the salted food, and bacteria will just shrimp, shrivel and die. So in order to preserve foods, a very easy way to do that is simply by adding a lot of sugar to it or add a lot of salt to it. And because of that, the bacteria don't stand a chance. What's also interesting is a, a remedy that a lot of grandparents may, uh, may know about is when you have a, a wound or a cut and you don't want the cut to infect, they used to put honey on the cut or honey on the wood with the very same reason that any bacteria that gets near the wound again because of the, the, the high sugar concentration of honey mixed with the body, the body uh, uh, solutions like blood and, and the plasma that comes out it will then form a solution that's very highly concentrated. Again, any bacteria coming near that, the, the water will simply be, be pulled out of the bacteria through osmotic pressure, and again, bacteria will die. So, very interesting, ingenious ways in which we can combat bacteria by just producing solutions mixed with sugar, mixed with salt, that then prevent bacteria to be able to live in it. And that's how that works.